Hello, good morning. It's very early morning here. It's around 8 o'clock in the morning. And hi everyone to my uh, Barrio Tarhawan, Lesto Calibo, Oakland, Isla de Boracay, Republic of the Philippines. I'm back here again in my YouTube channel, Your Queen of Bling Bling. But at the moment, I am using my antique uh, profile my art deco frame and that is myself I focus quick very very near um, myself and my husband this is when we start our life together as you could see they look antique and that's me and my husband the reason I'm back this morning because I said to you I don't want uh, to board you every Saturday with our karaoke pandemic this time I said I would like to do my, my uh, art of collecting, my antiquity. And this time, my subject is fireplace and uh, chimney pot. Because chimney pot is a very big part of people here in England. Because uh, obviously, it's a cold country. Very different from my kingdom in Taiwan, Leso, Kalibo, Auckland, Isla de Boracay, Republic of the Philippines. Very, very different. We don't, over there in the Philippines, we don't know, we don't need heat. Here we needed the heat because it's very cold. So my blogging today is life in England with fireplace and chimney pot, which I love them. And that's the reason why I, uh, me and my husband collect the artifacts of uh, fireplace and I will get up and show you the fireplace that we have uh, fireplace that we have is down there which uh, what I have at the moment there is my crystal that is a fireplace that we have and so I put my crystal there because as I said to you the last time that me and my husband are doing up our kitchen because I want to turn this into my studio blogging so it's easy for me but at the moment I put all the crystal there and and so I will so I can have the topic of of fireplace underneath there that's where you burn your coal and and you see and then there is a hole there going up to the roof the roof on top there is the chimney pot which is I love it and uh, there's a story of chimney pot and and they're very useful Christmas time for Father Christmas or Santa Claus but here yeah that's what I'm saying that is my fireplace at the moment where I put all my all our crystal collection of crystal there but that is the is the fireplace which you can see my hand there I am wearing dressing gown this morning and you can see the camera because the reflection and reflection in the mirror which which yeah I will just get side here so you could see that is the fireplace that's the fireplace that we have and and there where I always put my my motto there be grateful with your heart as you see, you've seen that last time and that is our fireplace which yeah and now we don't use fireplace no more because obviously it's a modern time and we use central heating now which is yeah so uh, that is our fireplace I'm trying not to take myself in the mirror because uh, I'm just in my dressing gown no makeup nothing at all no dressing up because uh, it's early in the morning and your queen of bling bling is lazy to put on something Yes, and at the top of our fridge, but uh, freezer, it will remain here in my studio because obviously uh, we need the freezer here. It's not, it's not used a lot, it's just a stuff of food was there. But down there is, down there, what I tried to show to you, that big box there, which is a brush, which where you put your, you put your coal to, to hit the fire, and that is why I put them there. We had a few collection of that. And, and next to that is my husband drill and everything because he needs he's doing he's doing here in in the my studio I call it now studio blogging and down there as well is uh, coal fire as well because we've collected a few of that is they look like gold but they're just a brass a brass box for the coal fire and 
what this next to the is a beautiful victorian victorian uh, screen from the fire fire screen which is uh there is a painting there of it's a proper painting of a lady that uh crocheting or doing bobbins and that is uh late edwardian late Casti late spanish is in art deco time 1920 which is uh, uh i can tell because obviously me and my husband are expert with antique but this side this side is where my husband has to put the up he need because i need the we call it dumb waiter, but in pieces at the moment because he needs to put the up and we're waiting for the items to arrive. He ordered already online to, to sew because one of the leg is dodgy, so he needs to replace that. My husband my husband is a handy panty man, so he can he can do that. He's just waiting for a few woods to arrive and is ordering online. And that's a few of my Picasso there. There is a Picasso in one side there, but we, we're proud to have it. It's, they call it mother and child, which is 19... I think that is uh, done in 1904, you see. I'm not sure because I could not see the, the writing. And those are clutter at the moment. My clock there are clutter. But they will be put away later on in in this uh, cabinet. And because now we're locked down, I said to my husband, I need to sort out this stuff. Because when we move here, we are so busy and we said that oh we don't need any more to display those things because we've done that but now i said that i'm blogging i said to my husband i i like to do it nicely now so they don't get broken and some of the boxes i throw it away i told you my, my last blogging they're all in boxes so we start uh clearing all the boxes now and yeah so that's what we do in england we collect me and my husband are are uh collector a proper proper collector of antique this is our lab you see when when i first arrived in england i never thought i will come into this kind of uh, business you know uh that uh loving the antique but the more i learn about the history it's it's not it's not only collecting but you're learning history about it when do they make and what is that what do they do that in the time and when was that like i said this one at the back this is a campaign. They call it a campaign clock during the war. They travel India or wherever they had a war. They can be dismantled. But then I will arrange that later in my, in my, uh, you know, this stand that my husband is doing right now. But yeah, and I'm going back to my table because I have here, uh, uh, you cannot see me because the mirror is covered. Uh, my mirror is there. That is quite a big mirror in on top of the fireplace. We call it mantel pieces. When you put something there on top of the fireplace, I call it mantel pieces. Yes, yeah, so I said to my husband, I'd like really to turn the kitchen into my studio. So it's easy for me to blog. I got loads of stuff to blog for you. What we do, what our life here in England, because this is the life here in England. Uh, you know, collecting uh, is... It's good to have a hobby of collecting because if you have a friend that collect as well, when they come to see you and they visit you, then you can talk about it. You have the subject of what they collect and what era, what you learn, the history and everything. But this is nice, you know, because uh, you don't want to have a party which is full of gossip. You you want something interesting. You want something, especially me. I'm so interested of the history here in England that I could, you know, I could learn and that sort of thing. So, yes, uh, so this picture is art. The frame is art deco, and the people there is my husband. He's very good looking when he was young. When we were young, we were obviously different. Now we're in a shielding time. It's a very different time. So yes, but you see us in you see us in karaoke night anyway. What I would like to to show to you at this time is yeah our collection of collection of of fire guard. They call it fire guard. This one is depicting Saxon when the time of Saxon over here because this country is is a uh, very old country it has been so many many uh, ruling you see they come from the Saxon the Roman time and very old uh, and then you see loads of history but like I said to you I want to learn a little bit not not too much so then because it's part of my my hobby, my collecting. I don't want to collect which I didn't know the era when was that make and you know. So this is this is Art Deco. This is depicting depicting soldier, the knights, they call it the knights, you know, knight soldier, and that is Art Deco. 
Definitely, I can guarantee to you, no dealer will argue with me. That is Art Deco, is a cast iron and and glaze and beautifully glazed. So they will they will have resistance to the fire when when it's been used. They all been used. I will show you the back of that that the evidence they've been used, and they are all 1920 Art Deco. In that one depicting both, you know, Mary Rose and and where my husband was born. He was born there. Obviously, we had to have some, you know, remembrance of, of his place. And this one is a canon because the olden day, they have a war. And this is a uh, Spanish time, Victorian time, this this type of thing. This is uh, Edwardian. Eh. Late Victoria and beginning of Edwardian. Because this is, uh, that is a... Uh, design of pineapple when you're a collector you should know the history you should know the making you should know the, the, the design so you, you are not being fooled by the era so you, you know you know the the, the era of the of the year i mean and which one is early which one is later and yes so that is our hobby me and my husband when we go out this is why it's difficult for us being locked down because we, we go auction houses. Auction houses, I told you in the last blogging, I love auction houses because it's the adrenaline there, it's the thrill if you can have it because you bidding one another and which one who will bid more and you can have the items. And that's what I love about it. And yes, so those are, those are we call Art Deco. And this one is also Art Deco, but the design is late Spanish time. Uh, the the coming of the electricity that is uh, is the early early uh, electric heating as you could see you see that's how that's how uh, you see the the connection there that's a very early fire heating uh, before the central heating that we have now the radiator that we have now so that is why we keep that because I don't know if other people have that but we keep that part of our collection to our fire guard and to do with fireplaces and chimney i love because they said santa claus come down from the chimney of your home uh christmas time and they come and bring you present but that's about it uh it's for the meat of the children you see so yeah and my table this is table is very very history to me because this table is this where my children sit and where every Friday we argue because here Friday they, they are allowed to go out, especially a level, they are allowed to go out now with their with their disco. But sometimes they will ask permission to stay with their friends, but which I will not allow because overnight I don't allow them overnight. Me and dad pick them up like Cinderella. I said to you that in my blogging before. Yes, yeah, so this this tablecloth is very old very old this is a uh, spanish time because this is bobbins it's not it's not only like a, a crochet no it is a bobbins uh, bobbins is earlier than crochet that they make and yeah i think that's all i'd like to show to you our our fire guard you see this is it but i'm sure there is more in the garage but this is the one i managed to to pick up because this is my favorite they were just already there in the in that fireplace so so but as soon as my husband than the cupboard then there'll be more blogging to come because I, I i told you i collect everything that is that uh connecting to myself you see and interesting to me and fascinating how the the story of christmas as well in chimney pot chimney pot as you see them outside the the roof beautiful and yeah so until now they did the, the fireplace they did not dismantle that even in the modern time because that is part of history here and as i told you we live near the castle and this these people who live here before they become public this property here is uh the people who live here service in service they call it service in the castle but obviously the castle is a museum now so this property here we bought and sold bought and sold but the people who live in this kind of property they die they live here forever because they love the area they love this is like i said when we move from the old house this is like our retiring house because uh, it's only me and my husband that live here now so i said to my husband i decided now i said well we don't use the kitchen we don't use the dining so i might as well use that like my studio blogging which he liked the idea as well so i don't, so i can display i said the things that i will blog you know and that's it but anything that we co we collect I, I will tell you the antique is before 
the antique it should be at least 100 years old but now coming now down in modernization they become now 50 years old and now we have now the retro they call it retro in the 80s also with the young generation now they think it's old to me it's not anything to do made in the 80s is modern to me and they are retro i love older and i love if i could go back georgian time georgian time is before queen before the spanish but it's difficult to find those kind of items now, the, the, the Georgian. I, um, my knowledge of antique is up to Georgian. And my husband, me and him, we always challenge each other if it is what era, what time. So that's make us something to do in this lockdown. And I'm so happy with that. Otherwise, I'd be bored, ne? especially now we don't babysit. Because really, it's, it's like they call it... Uh, lockdown properly this time so yeah uh, we talked to my daughter and the phone but that's about it and but as uh, as my husband knows me i never stop <laughs> i never stop tidying looking this you know and doing our things and and yes and last time last the last time i saw as well our pandora box which i call it pandora box where i put all the family picture and it's oh wow and you see and yeah that's it but i think before my husband come down he is doing his grooming and beautifuling in the morning he is in the toilet at the minute and then he will come down to feed the dog that's his duty and make my coffee Make the coffee of your queen of bling bling. And yes, so I said to my husband, I will do this very quickly. So at least you're not bored with our karaoke. In between, I will do our art of collecting. For me, I call it art of collecting. As a collector, we call ourselves uh, the art of collecting. How we collect stuff. And beautiful. Because I said to you, when I first arrived in England, well, back, back to my story, I don't know anything about this. But then, obviously, I graduate in Luneta Park University. I don't know anything about history. But then I work in a very uh, very rich family. Uh, I I become the head housekeeper, and, and he works in the embassy. He was a diplomat. And, oh, my God, I've seen all those collections. I said, what is that all about? I don't know anything about that. But then later on, who knows? Uh, time tell that I will be into this kind of subject. And I said, oh, my God, I can't believe that I will I will be like those family. <laughs> the house is full of collection. I call it a museum. And, yes. It's nice because when he when this diplomat as well when they have a party, they talk all the time their collection and that's what me and my husband is doing as well. Our collection is not as rich as those diplomat people because they travel around the world to collect. They even want items from Baguio. They call it the Anito, I think, and they brought back here because obviously they are diplomat. They can bring their items free uh, as a government uh, employee and 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 because I am their head housekeeper, they become my friend and. Like I said to you, life here is very different. There is no rich and poor here. Everyone is equal. Everyone call their names the same. There is no madam. There is no sir. We don't do sir. We don't do madam. And that's what I love in this country. They, my mother-in-law gave me the as well confident as well, fair and share. Fair and share to everyone. Everyone works hard. Everyone pay taxes. So we all have the right to to whatever we are even even the disabled people here they are counted everyone is counted in this country but i will say goodbye now because i can hear my husband now i think going out now from the we call it cr so yeah i don't want to disturb his morning with our doggy that's as well the love my husband's love is the doggy they love doggy for me i i treat doggy as a pet you know, as but my husband more than that, <laughs> and they were really a dog lover. English people are animal lover. Anything, anything, even an ants, anything that there is life, my mother-in-law will, will pick that up, and then they, they won't kill any animal they respect, and that's how they are here. Life is very important. Anyway, I will leave you and love you, and hope, I hope this is. Your queen of bling bling, and I hope it is clear in my camera, your queen of bling bling, the time that my husband start our life together. Yes, so, yeah. My husband, as you could see, he's, uh, we call it Bobby Dassler, you see. But obviously now it's different. Uh, those days are gone, and this is now our shielding time. But me and my husband still, we can talk. The, the thing that me and my husband have in hobby is this, music. And collecting. We are a collector. Bye-bye now. And hi to everyone. Stay safe. Until now, stay safe. Because uh, our government here has started really programming that we will manage to come out from this and we will be free. Slowly, gradually, they are doing what, what the public should do. 
and we learn from the past so that's what happened and that's a good thing you learn from the past and you be careful now for the future i will leave you and love you all bye bye good morning to everyone bye